when you're in a fight, <laughs> you don't know the word uncle, especially uh, when you're fighting for the, for the most vulnerable people in our society. And I, okay? appreciate it. I told you that before I mean it. I didn't know that polar bears live to 80, but I guess they do when they're alive and well and kicking and swimming, no matter what the temperature of the water. Harvey, you are the quintessential spirit of Long Beach and Atlantic Beach and our shorefront communities. And you care so much about uh, the people there. It's been a pleasure working with you during a time of strife after Sandy to help bring things back. I know that I speak for all of us, Democrats, Republicans, and everyone in between. No matter what party, Harvey fights for the little guy. He fights for the people. Congratulations. When you came to Albany, you brought much more than a wealth of experience. You brought a devotion to human service, a fierce determination to protect and defend the most vulnerable, and a depth of emotional investment that, unfortunately, is too often missing from the debate over what it should mean to be a New Yorker. Every life that you touch, up in Albany, out on Long Island, is instantly improved by your calming smile, your class, and nobility. You have accomplished so much, my friend. I won't quote from your biography, but I will say that the image of you as a lifeguard is truly befitting. The guy with the skill and the chutzpah to dive into any challenge and save the day. What more could anyone ask of a leader? Personally, I cannot convey what it has meant to me to have you as a mentor and a colleague. What a blessing it is to have your trust and loyalty. You are and have always been a true friend. I am sorry. Like everyone else who's had the privilege of knowing Harvey Wiesenberg, uh, I have to say he's an absolutely great guy, a terrific person, an outstanding state legislator. He's such an asset to the city of Long Beach, to the people of Nassau County, the people of New York State. And again, anyone who needs a break, anyone who uh, uh, needs a hand, anyone who is disabled, anyone who has any reason at all to look for a friend in time of need, Harvey Wiesenberg is there. The so. governor was quite clear. The record would not have been possible without the leadership of the legislature. I, for one, have not forgotten the bicameral, bipartisan effort led by our own assembly member, Harvey Wiesenberg, to restore funding for the developmentally disabled in the current year's budget. A small thing in a budget of tens of billions of dollars not to the developmentally disabled, not to their families, not to the men and women who care for our most vulnerable citizens. There we were, speaking with sincere, heartfelt emotion, with one voice for a small fraction of New Yorkers, men and women, boys and girls, who may never cast a vote but who desperately need a government with enough integrity, enough humanity, and enough courage to stand up for a child with special needs and protect his or her quality of life. Didn't make the front pages, but that was us, all of us. To me, this is the essence of good government and what makes public service the noble calling that it is and should always be. Program. Think about the resources, what you have, and thank God for what you have. Right. And try to make somebody happy. We'll do one good deed every day to make somebody happy. It'll be a better world. Are you still as excited as you were at the beginning of uh-huh. being a public servant? I mean, these days, unfortunately, people in public life are treated with disdain. They're treated as if they don't care about the people. Every day you wake up, that's all you care about. Do you still get as much satisfaction? The rewards of my job are the thank yous that you get. Ellen and I, wherever we go, there's God bless you and thank you. And to me, that's, that's what life is all okay. about. 
Well, here's what I know about Harvey Weisenberg. You've got to keep fighting until your last breath. <laughs>